Can two minds operate within one person at the same time? Vandiyadeva's experience showed that it can be done. He was passing through a fertile region within the fertile Chola country. It was a time when the rivers were overflowing. Water was gushing through the passes, sluices, dams, ditches and fields. Water was everywhere. How appropriate is it to call the Chola country Valanadu and the Chola king as Valavan? As soon as I thought of this, I remembered the dangers faced by the Chola nation and the Chola king. What is his duty in this situation? Should he add only the leaf given by Prince Kari Kalar to the emperor and leave it as if his duty is done? Why should we interfere in this dynasty's fever and strife? Who comes to the throne of the Chola country, what do we have? If you go to see are these the native enemies of our clan? Did the Cholas, Gongers and Vaithumbers together make the kingdom of Vinakapati non-existent? Today, because Aditha Kari Kalar was kind to us, will all that injustice disappear? Chaj. How can those old incidents be called injustice? As kings, it is natural to fight with each other. Similarly success and failure are natural. What's the point of losers getting mad at winners? When our forefathers were in good condition, did they also beat other kings? Did they see it completely destroyed? Cow. What song is that here is the memory? Our forefathers have also done such cruel things on the battlefield. The losers in the battlefield are always doomed. Can all kings be merciful like Rama and sons of Dharma? They went to the forest just because they were like that. Being brave men and companions of soldiers, they suffered a lot. There should be no mercy in kingship. It must be said that Chola clans are a little kind. They try to make enemies as friends if possible. For that they leave the clan and do clan marriage Sambandha. Didn't Sundara Chola's father Aranjaya Chola marry Vaithumbarayan's daughter? Even Sundara Chola and his people excelled in beauty because he was the son of that famous Kalyani. Ah! When I think of beauty, I remember that girl from the city of Arizalarangarai. The memory did not come from somewhere new. The memories that were blooming inside him. While Vandiyathava's outer mind was thinking about the natural resources of the Chola country and the royal troubles, his inner mind was occupied with the manga. Now both inner mind and outer mind started thinking about Amagai. Then, any beautiful natural object seen outside appeared to be compared to the limbs of the manga. Her shoulders came to mind when she saw the smooth bamboo. The vase flowers kneeling in the streams were a metaphor for her eyes. I wondered if Pankaja flowers matched her golden face. Is it correct to compare the sound of her voice to the rustling of beetles in the flowers that were shaking on the riverside trees? All these things have been taught by the poets, where exactly are these? Where is the beauty of that beauty? I was mesmerized when I saw her face. Even thinking about it now gives me goosebumps. Seeing these flowers and beetles does not create such a mesmerization. Chaj. We have forgotten all the teachings that the elders gave us. There is no illusion in worldly life so wicked as the lust of women. Those who want to succeed in life should never fall into the trap of women, if he falls, he is gone. Kovalan's story is a rare take on that matter. What is Kovalan alone? Is that the reason why people talk mockingly about the heroic hero and unparalleled influence in the Chola nation, the great Palyavataraya? But people are ignorant of the truth. People don't know who the Reaper is bringing in under closed doors. So they talk stupidly. However, that mad Deva did not have to be so mean to himself. See you. Sitting in the fog, go from town to town hiding in the Queen's place? Is this the beauty of masculinity? Do you want to earn a kingdom like this? Will he be able to save his earned kingdom? Do you have to rely on the tyrants and do the kingdom under them? Sundara Chola Chakraborty is not doing so well in this matter. He should not have given such power and influence to people like Palyavetare. Especially when you have two wonderful sons. When there is a daughter with knowledge and skills that amazes the whole country. That maiden, the one seen in the soothsayer's house, the one who spoke on the river bank, whose face is her face. Could it be so? Madness. It can never be like that. 
why can't there be? Perhaps if so, no one else is as knowledgeable as us. Not so unfortunate as us. What a barbarian we behaved towards her, whose fame spread far and wide from Ceylon to the Vindhya Parvatam. It will never be like that. How can he show his face to her tomorrow with the prince's straw? In this way Devon came along the banks of the Kaveri and reached Tiravayat, thinking of bringing everything together, heaven and earth. The wealth and beauty of the city captivated him. He heard that it was Thiruvayar. Everything he had heard about the glories of the Wonderland seemed a little short of the truth. The commentary in Nanasambandar Devara is found to be true here. Nothing has changed in three hundred years. How flourishing are the trees on the banks of the Kaveri! How many big balak pods hang from the jack trees! This type cannot be seen anywhere in the throat area. Aha! Monkeys come from everywhere for the rich places. How cute are they jumping from branch to branch? What has Lord Sambandha said? Remember this? Women dance in Thiruvayara street corner arenas. The melodrama is accompanied by this melodious song. Hearing that cry, the monkeys thought it was the roar of the clouds and climbed the top branches of the tall trees to look at the sky for rain. Damn! How relevant even today! Monkeys climb the canopy branches in the tallest trees. Is that all? Sweet sounds of dance songs also come from within the town. The sound of instruments like lyre, kuchal, muvuvu, Danume etc. are accompanied by the sound of Satanga. The people who dance here are not rabble-rousers like those who danced at the Sambuvarayar mansion in Kadampur. Aha! What you hear here is a cultured sweet song. The Satagai sound of Bharatanatyam dancers is an art specialty. Aho, the sound of the goal held in the hands of the dancing teachers is also accompanied. Aha! Sambandha Swami is a great Shiva devotee. A better fan than that. Even today this Thiruvayar is understood as he commented on that day. After staying in such a town for a day and seeing the wonders of dance and song, one should leave after visiting Eyarpura and Naki Amon who nurtured virtue. Atata, how many devotees sit on the banks of Kaveri and perform rituals? How weedy are they wearing a thong as a thong? Sometimes you can hear the sound of Namashivaya mantra, compressing the sounds of Adal songs. Why? Is there someone singing Sambandar's Devara in a sweet voice? This is Thiruvayar, a town that God has dedicated to music and art. Must stay in this town for a day and leave. What is the use of rushing to Tanjavur? What can enter the castle? Even if you enter like that, will you get an interview with the Maharaja? It is the Maharaja who is being kept in prison as if he is being kept in prison with two criminals. You have to go to the north bank of Kaveri. An incident happened just as Devon had come to this conclusion. A palanquin came along the banks of the Kaveri from the west. A few policemen also came before and behind the palanquin. Vandiyathevan had some doubts. He stood there waiting till he came near the tooth, it was as he thought. An image of a palm tree was seen on the outer screen covering the palanquin. Aha! This is the Palaka from Kadampur. When we come through Gadantat, these people have come in another way. But let's see the spoiler. He seems to have stayed somewhere else along the way. Palaku turned towards the south where Tanjavur was. That's all, Vandiyathevan gave up the idea of staying in Tiravayat. He decided to keep going after that Palak. He did not know at that time what was the purpose of his decision. The only thing he knew for sure was Madhuran Thakdavar sitting on the palanquin. The disgust that had come over him grew a little more. But if you follow the palanquin a little, there may be some good opportunity. The palanquin bearers may put it down and Prince Madhuran Hakar may appear for some reason. Then you can get used to him. It can be used to enter Tanjavur Fort and see the Emperor. It will go away if you talk a little and disguise it accordingly. If you don't deal with Tantra mantras, the task is useless, isn't it? Especially in matters of state? Therefore, leaving the palanquin and the entourage to go ahead, Vandiyadeva was going a little behind. But the opportunity he expected never came. 
between Kaveri and Tanjavur and crossed four rivers. Even then the bar was not put down, it was going in one breath. Tanjavur fort wall and gate are visible in the distance. If the tooth goes inside the fort, then his thoughts will not go away. Something must be done boldly and bravely by then. What will come? Will the head go away? Is it going to go like that? What is the use of returning alive without completing the task? Vandiyathevan had a different anger towards Madhuran Thakdavar for all this. It is not the woman who tears the veil of the palanquin, his hand dipped to reveal that he was a boy with a mustache, his heart pounded. While he was seriously thinking about what was the solution to this, one of the entourage who had gone to Palakadu, stared at Devon who was a little behind. Who are you father? Why are you following us from Thiruvayar? He asked. I am not following you, sir. I am going to Tanjavur. This road leads to Tanjavur. Vandiyathevan said. This road leads to Tanjavur but only important people can go on it there is another road for others. Said the hero. Really? But I'm a very, very important man. Vandiyathevan said. Hearing this, Aviran smiled and asked, Why are you going to Tanjore? He said. Vandiyathevan said, My stepfather is in Tanjavur, I am going to check on him because he is ill. What is your stepfather doing in Tanjavur? Is he working in the palace? No, no, the bellman is at the inn. Oko. Really? Well, you're going ahead of us? Why are you coming behind? The horse is tired, sir. That's why. Otherwise, what's the point of watching your back? While talking like this Vandiyathevan came near Palak. Immediately the trick he was trying to find out was clear. He pressed the horse with his legs, pulled the bridle, and dashed at those who had raised the palanquin. They looked back in fear. Vandiyadeva immediately said, Maharaja! Maharaja! The toothpickers are knocking down my horse! Alas! Alas! He shouted. The curtain that covered the palanquin rustled. 